Um, so I'd ask the meeting to come to order. My name is Conrad Panett. Now, before we proceed with the meeting, I'd like to remind everyone to please turn off your cell phones if you haven't already done it, just to be on the safe side so we don't get any rings. I'm a director and chairman of the board of Canfor Pulp Products, Inc., and will be acting as chairman for this meeting. It's a great pleasure for me to extend a warm welcome to all of you to the annual general meeting of Canfor Pulp Products, Inc. This meeting has been convened as an annual general meeting of shareholders and has been called for the principal purposes of receiving the consolidated financial statements for the year end of December 31st, 2017, together with auditor's report and the report of the directors to the shareholders. Electing the directors for the coming year and appointing the auditors for the coming year. At this point, I'd like to introduce the CEO of Canfor Pulp, Mr. Don Kane, and uh, sitting at the head table as well as David Calabrigo, the corporate secretary for uh, the company. So with your indulgence, I propose that any questions you may have be reserved until after you've heard from Don, unless the questions relate to directly to the motions to the floor. So I've asked Mr. Calabrigo to act as the secretary of this meeting, and uh, so you'll so do for us. I'd like to introduce to you the other directors of Canfor Pulp that are here today. We have Peter Bentley, Peter, Stan Bracken Horrocks, Stan, Barbara Hislop, John Baird, and Bill S William Stinson. Um, Michael Kornberg, who uh, has been a director, is uh, not here today. He's uh, in uh, attending business elsewhere. So all of these directors have worked diligently and effectively with the management team at Canfor, and we appreciate their wise counsel. On behalf of both the board and the management of Canfor Pulp, I wish to extend our sincere thanks to Michael, who has now decided to not to put his name forward for re-election to the board. Michael has been a director of Canfor Pulp since 2012. We are grateful for his service as a director and are confident that he will remain very supportive of the company. At this time, I'd like to introduce the other senior officers of Canfor Pulp that are present. Alan Nickel, Chief Financial Officer and Executive Vice President, Finance and Pulp Operations. Martin Pudlis, Vice President of Operations and Innovation. Martin. Peter Hart, Vice President, Pulp and Paper Sales. With the consent of the meeting, I hereby appoint AST Trust Company Canada to act as scrutineer for the meeting. So, Mr. Calabrio, do you have the notice of the meeting? And Mr. Chairman, a notice calling, meet, calling the meeting uh, was mailed to all shareholders of Camphor Pulp entitled to receive such a notice. AST Trust Company Canada has provided us with a certificate as to the mailing, and a copy of the certificate will be kept with the records of the meeting. So, Mr. Secretary, will you please summarize the preliminary scrutiny's report? We are pleased to report that there are 46 shareholders holding 57,629,703 shares represented in person or by proxy at this meeting, representing 88.3% of the total issued and outstanding shares of the company. Thank you. As Chairman, I adopt the scrutiny's report and declare the attendance at this meeting to be as they have set forth. I direct then that when delivered, the final scrutiny report will be kept with the records of, the, of this meeting. So in accordance with the scrutineer's preliminary report, I declare a quorum present and the meeting to be duly constituted for the transaction of business. The minutes of the last meeting of shareholders are available for perusal by any shareholder. Unless someone wishes them read, I would entertain a motion to take the minutes as read and to approve them. So motion, please. Seconder. Thank you. You've heard the motion. All in favor, please signify in the usual manner by raising your hand. That's easy so far. Thank you. The next item of business to place before the meeting is the consolidated financial statements of Canfor Pulp for the year end of December 31st, 2017, together with the auditor's report and the report of the directors to the shareholders. These statements and reports are contained in Canfor Pulp's annual report which have been mailed to shareholders and copies are available outside the room at the back of the room there. Unless there are any questions, I'll regard the statements and reports as received by this meeting. Okay. So the next item of business is the election of directors of CAN for Pulp. <coughs> the meeting is now open for nominations. 
So may I have a motion to nominate Conrad Panette, Peter Bentley, Stan Bracken, Horrocks, Barbara Hislop, William Simpson, John Baird, and Don Kane as directors of the company to hold office until the next annual general meeting. Motion to that effect. Seconder. Any further nominations? There being no further nominations, I declare the nominations closed. As only the required number of persons have been nominated, I declare that these, those persons nominated have been duly elected by acclamation as the directors of Canfor Pulp to hold office until the next annual general meeting. We'll now move to the appointment of auditors. And it's the board's recommendation that KPMG LLP chartered accountants be appointed auditors of Canfor Pulp. We have a motion to that effect, please. Seconder. So you've heard the motion. All in favor, please signify in the usual manner by raising your hand. Contrary? <coughs> I declare a KPMG LLP chartered accountants appointed auditors for this coming year. And now please to invite Don Kane, and we've been waiting for this Don for some time here, the CEO of Canfor Pulp to address you about what's going on at the company, and I hope you'll find this comments very interesting. Thanks, Conrad, and good morning, everyone. Uh, before I begin, I want to recognize that the land we are gathered on today is the unceded traditional territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tooth First Nations. So welcome to the Canfor Pulp Products Incorporated Annual General Meeting. Uh, we are fortunate to have here today members of our board of directors, our executive team, employees of the company, and several shareholders. So thank you uh, very much for joining us. Uh, 2017 was an excellent year for Canfor Pulp. Uh, our operating income was $154.6 million, uh, the second highest in our history. Our annual sales of $1.2 billion was a record high. Our return on invested capital was 23%. We had no debt and a strong cash position at the end of 2017, and we, ach and we achieved a medical incident rate of 2.12, which is the best in over 10 years. Uh, 2018 is also off to a good start. Uh, Q1 2018, our results set a new record with over $85 million in operating income and exceeding a 30% return on invested capital. And this was in spite of the significant weather and transportation rela related challenges that our teams faced uh, throughout the quarter, so a job very well done by our CPPI team. Uh, global pulp market conditions were relatively stable in the first half of 2017 and then improved considerably as a result of pulp supply disruptions and a decision by the Chinese government to restrict recovered paper imports. We ended the year with near record high prices in China, <clears throat> excuse me, and strong gains in most other markets. The increased average MBSK price more than offset market-related increases in fiber costs and higher chemical and energy costs. As a result of favorable BCTMP pricing, Taylor delivered its best operating results since we acquired them in 2015. Our fiber advantage allows us to maintain our position as a global leader in the specialty pulp segment. More than half of our pulp production is used for high quality specialty products, including electrical papers, non-woven applications, abrasive papers, and label papers. The reinforcing fibers are also used in the premium tissue market and high-end printing and writing grades. So we see continued market opportunities to capitalize on the quality advantage we have as a company and are focused on developing new end use and geographic markets. We continue to benefit from our Fiber United partnership with UPM Pulp out of Finland, and this unique cooperative agreement lets our global customers benefit from the more versatile range of pulps, as well as the technical expertise of both companies, which are among the largest and strongest in the industry. <clears throat> And in addition to providing high quality products, industry leading technical support and diverse offerings through Fiber United, Canfor Pulp also provides customers with fiber from sustainable sources. All of the fiber we use for our pulp and paper originates within British Columbia and all the forest operations we source from are in full legal compliance with provincial forest policy and guidelines. 
We continue to invest in our facilities in 2017 to improve our environmental and economic performance and maximize the long-term benefits. In July of 2017, we announced capital investments at our Northwood and our Taylor pulp mills. At Northwood, we are investing $65 million to install a 32 megawatt condensing turbo generator, which will increase the electrical energy generation from biomass and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. At Taylor, we are investing $40 million to upgrade the refining line. This will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by approximately 25% and electrical energy by approximately 10%. Both projects are on schedule and budget with Taylor set to commence its ramp up in the second half of this year and the Northwood project on track to be commissioned in early 2019. In the last decade, we have invested over half a billion dollars in our pulp facilities in British Columbia. We are proud to be a leader in the pulp and paper and energy sector in the province and to invest in our operations here. We are especially proud to be recognized in our operating communities, most recently in Prince George, for our commitment and the results we've achieved working collaboratively with the community to improve air quality. Our energy business remains focused on expanding our power generating capacity and improving our energy efficiency. Our pulp mills generated over 950,000 megawatt hours of biomass energy, closing in on our target of a million megawatt hours annually. We expect to reach that mark this year. <clears throat> Through our joint venture with Lysella Fiber Fuels, we continue to explore the potential to use the unique technology it has developed to convert waste from craft mill pulp craft pulp mill production processes into a low-cost bio-crude oil that, would, that could be refined into next-generation biofuels and biochemicals. In April, we received a commitment for up to $13 million in funding from, through the Sustainable Development Technology Canada to support the project. This funding was a result of an intensive application and screening process of this technology, and we sincerely <laughs> appreciate the support we have received in moving this project forward. Safety remains our, <clears throat> our, our highest single priority, and as I mentioned, our employees delivered another excellent safety performance in 2017 with the lowest MIR rate we have recorded in 10 years at 2.12. In 2017, we once again received a certification of recognition from the Industry Training Authority to recognize the apprenticeship program at our three Prince George pulp mills and our involvement in providing training opportunities through the College of New Caledonia's Career Technical Center program. Through our succession planning and training and, and our development programs, we offer a promote from within culture that gives our employees exceptional opportunities for career advancement and growth. Across the company, we are taking steps to broaden the diversity of our workforce so we can attract a wider choice of qualified candidates and we welcome the fact that we were selected for the Career Directory, a guide for new graduates published by Canada's Top 100 Employers Team. We enhanced our labour stability last June by ratifying a new four-year collective agreement with Unifor and the Pulp and Paper and Woodworkers of Canada. Our thanks to the leadership of both unions for their professionalism throughout the negotiation process and to our employees who are union members for the certainty we now have through to April 30th 2021. While Canfor and Canfor Pulp remain separate companies, Canfor Corporation holds 54.8% interest in Canfor Pulp, which is a slight increase from a year ago uh, as a result of some share purchases uh, in 2017. We are working to integrate management activities to, integrate, to increase efficiency through our shared services model and leverage purchasing power. Actions in 2017, including advancing the use of technology with an integrated information management resource for sales, inventory, transportation, and supply chain, and a new platform for human resources. Working together, we have significant opportunities that we simply cannot afford to pass by, and I'm proud of the work and the commitment of our teams to capitalize on these shared advantages. Global pulp market conditions were better than we expected in 2017, especially in the second half of the year, and growing demand should keep markets strong as we move through the first half of 2018. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize the many contribu contributions made by Brett Robinson, who left the company in March. Uh, Brett was with Canfor for more than 25 years, serving as the president of Canfor Pulp since 2012, 
and Brett leaves a strong team at Canfor Pulp, which is a testament to his leadership. Alan Nickel, who has served as a CFO for Canfor Pulp as well as Canfor Corporation for several years, has stepped into an operational leadership role at CPPI, supported by the excellent Pulp senior management team. I would also like to thank the members of our board of directors for their support and guidance uh, throughout the year and our shareholders for their continued confidence in our company. I'd also like to thank Jim Pattison and the Pattison Group for all their support <laughs> over many, many years. And lastly, I'd like to thank our employees for their many excellent contributions throughout the year and for their dedication to Canfor Pulp. Thanks very much. Thank you, Don. Thanks, Don. Um, we're now open for questions. Uh, have we got any questions of Don or? Okay. Other than from you? Other than from me, yes. Well, if not, um, the, I'll entertain a motion to terminate the meeting. So, motion accordingly. Seconder. All in favor? We didn't intend to railroad this, but seemingly it's happened, so, but thank you. So, I'd like to thank uh, everyone who's uh, joined us today, so thank you very much, and uh, we'll look forward to next year when Hopefully Don's got even better results to deliver to us. Thanks again. Thanks, everybody.